Morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Chris Loves Comics. It's Friday, and I hope you guys did very well on your haul week. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. It really means a lot to me. But with that out of the way, we'll go over the highlights of my haul. I had a total of like 17 books, but I just want to go over my two favorites and my cover of the week, which I also think is a fantastic start into the story. This is Something Epic by Simon Kudrensky. I love the nice Terminator 2 homage to it. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool story. Um, it's about a boy who's living with his mother, and he's just having he's just having a really rough time. But he uses his imagination to sort of deal with to deal with his problems. Like the artwork in this book is is really something else. I I really I really enjoy it and. Um, like it was a really good set. It was a really good setup story. It reminded me of the, I think it was in nineteen ninety two, the movie Cool World with Val Kilmer and Ga Gabriel Byrne and Kim Basinger. It's pretty cool how it feels like it has that comic element and it also has the, um, just the the real time element. Like and like I said, the the art in this book is nothing short of fantastic. I think Kudrensky is also on pencils in this book too. But it's a uh, it's a really great start, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue reading. Continue reading it. I think it's like a five-part miniseries, but I really love that Terminator Two, uh, Judgment Day homage. And next up, we have issue number eleven of Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky and Marco Cicchetto is uh, on there. Oh, sorry, not Cicchetto is not on the art this time. I, I do like when he's on. It's Rafael Della Torre, but it's really well done. And if you haven't read this book. Uh, spoilers, uh, there, there will be some discussion. So, Daredevil is trying to get, um, go after the Strom ones. He pulls out, pulls out his blades, and when you think, when you think he's gonna stab them, he, t he freaking takes out his eyes. He's trying to, uh, he's, he, but he's, tr he's tricking the Strom ones, like, to say that he'll work for them and such, but, uh, it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't work out well, um, because <laughs> I love this line. Uh, Daredevil says, "I'll give you pain like you've never felt before." <laughs> like it's it's a pretty it's a pretty grim book. I I really enjoy it. I know the run is coming to a close in August, but Chip Zdarsky has done a very fantastic job. I I really love the work he's done with Daredevil, and I'm a big I'm a big Chip Zdarsky fan. If you've read his Batman run, his failsafe run, his failsafe arc was really good. His red mask. His red mask run was, um, it was good. It wasn't as good as the failsafe arc, but the ending he really, he really did well on the ending. But if you haven't read the current Batman series, I think they're gonna start a new arc in next, excuse me, in next in next month. But and next up, probably my book, my book of the week has to be Green Lantern number one. And I like that Sinestro variant cover, and. <clears throat> It starts, this is a really good homage to like the Silver Age book. This is written by Jeremy Adams, and uh, the art, I believe it's Daniel Warren Johnson who does the art. Hold on one second. It is, oh, com <laughs> completely off. It's Zermanico. <laughs> I knew that. But um, it starts off with some miners um, getting trapped, but then like Zermanico really does a fantastic job on the art. And that one miner says he's back, and he's like, hey, guys. And the story starts off with, uh, well, actually, the preface of the story is the the U.S., um, the, OA, the OA has pretty much placed all the Green Lanterns and in their in their own, you know, sectors. They can't go off to other galaxies, like, they have to stay in their jurisdiction, and also Earth... Earth Lanterns are, they're considered um, hostile and they're, the Guardians of the OA are trying to reassign them, but Hal's not going to hear him. He's, he goes back to Earth and he tries to get a job at the airfield with the love of his life, Carol, but Carol has moved on with her life. She has a, she has a new boyfriend. Really, really enjoy the art. <laughs> That's uh, Hal, Hal waiting for Carol to come out of the office. And, and according to the news, when you see... Like the miners were saved by Green Lantern. Everyone is everyone's really happy except for 
this familiar guy. <laughs> it's sad that they only show him in a couple of panes of the book because I love Sinistro. Sinistro, if you haven't read Green Lantern, I cannot recommend Jeff Johns' run of Green Lantern. It is so good. My favorite, my favorite arc of the story is the Green Lan the Green Lantern uh, Core War. It's, it has a lot of heart. It has a lot of fantastic art. It's just a great story. I, I can't recommend that book highly enough. But Jeremy Adams looks like he's off to a fantastic start with Green Lantern. And he's finishing up his run, I believe. It's either this month or next month with issue number 800. And that'll be the end of Jeff Jeremy Adams' run. But I think uh, it's um, Cy Spurrier who's going to be taking over the Flash Witch... I have my doubts. I, I sometimes like Cy Spurrier stuff, but I guess they're going to sort of go like a, a horror theme with Flash. I don't know how that's going to pan out. I'm still going to read it. I'm still going to read at least issue number one and make my make my judgment there. But that's 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 pretty much my best books of the week. There, there was a lot of good Marvel. There was a lot of good DC, but I'm just I'm sort of condensing the book so that way I don't take up too much time. I was thinking about doing like a tier list or something like that. I think I think that'd be fun. Just to quickly go over like like an S tier, which would be elite, A tier, B tier, C tier, etc. But that's that's the end of the that's the end of the video. I re I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day to to watch the video. I really appreciate all my subscribers, and I'll see you next week. The new haul, there'll be a lot to talk about next week. It just reminded me, DC is coming out with the first issue of Titans by uh, Tom Taylor, and the art is going to be by Nicola Scott. I'm really looking forward to that book. And also, uh, Jed McKay is starting the Avengers. It's um, going to be led by Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm very excited. I believe the Avengers team is Captain Marvel, Captain America, Sam Wilson, uh, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, and Thor. I'm, uh, I'm very excited for, for next week's books. It sh should be a lot of fun. But have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you then. Bye now.